I extend greetings to all members of the 2022 Annual Conference of the Western North Carolina Conference. I am the Reverend Dr. Sarah Kalish, President of the Conference Board of Pension and Health Benefits, and it is my privilege to present to you the report of the board regarding pension and health benefits for 2023. Our report reflects the two parts of our mission, to manage all matters related to our clergy pension plans and to develop and offer the health benefit plans for our conference. I am finishing my second year serving as president of this board. It is an honor and a privilege to be a part of this most important work on behalf of our clergy and their families. The outstanding accomplishments resulting from this board's decisions simply would not have been possible without the spirit of service and dedication of every single member of this board. To each of them, I express my heartfelt gratitude for superb service and passionate support of our mission. I would like to thank fellow board member Lori Wilson for her leadership in serving as chair of the Health Benefits Committee. Lori brings a wealth of experience in healthcare and pharmaceuticals to this role. Last but certainly not least, our conference is extremely fortunate to have the leadership and expertise of two of the most authoritative and devoted individuals that any conference in United Methodism has in Reverend Dr. Mark King, our conference treasurer and benefits officer, and Mr. Dale Bryant, senior benefits administrator. Our pension plan is adopted by the general conference and its resources expertly managed by Westpath Benefits. For health benefits, our conference has the authority and expertise to design and implement its own health benefits packages. So the responsibilities and decisions of this board on behalf of the local churches and our clergy is of the utmost importance to our conference. One of the highlights of our board's creative support of our clergy has been our clergy debt reduction program our joint initiative with the Western North Carolina United Methodist Foundation. As of the end of 2021, loans outstanding for clergy debt reduction and refinancing has risen to $1,594,392. On a somewhat less positive note, in our report, you can see the list of local churches that had an outstanding balance of $55,901.78 as of March 30th, 2022, resulting from non-payment of direct clergy benefit costs. This is a significant reduction from the report of the previous three years. While there have been extenuating circumstances in many cases, each church will incur a liability to the Conference Board of Pension and Health Benefits. I should also point out that individual clergy associated with these churches will not lose benefits. I now wish to present our four proposals regarding the pension plans, all similar to those we present at each annual conference. First, we are recommending that the basic cost of the pastor's pension again be invoiced to churches in 2023 as pension responsibility to support the Clergy Retirement Security Program, otherwise known as CRISP. The board expresses its gratitude for the faithful way you and our local churches continue to fund this obligation. Since the implementation of direct billing for pension and health benefits in 2007, the Conference Board of Pension and Health Benefits has been investing the net proceeds from these billings in various investments with our foundation. Over these past eight years, these investments have provided better than projected earnings for our conference. As a result, the board has approved the sharing of these resources with local churches by reducing the cost of pension benefits without reducing any pension benefits to the pastors by the amount of $2,228 per full-time pastor in 2023, invoicing 
$2,880 to the local church. The actual cost invoiced to the conference for the crisp full-time benefit will be $5,108. This is the 11th year of reductions or holding the line in defined benefit billings to each local church for each full-time pastor. Over the period of 2011 to 2023, annual billing to local churches has been reduced by more than 50%. We celebrate that we can share these resources with our local churches so that more of their resources may be used for ministry. Number two, the past service annuity rate for service years prior to 1982 will be set at $857 per service year, effective January 1, 2023 and that the eligibility for the CRISP be determined to include clergy appointed for full three-quarters and half-time positions, and that the eligibility for the Comprehensive Protection Plan be determined to include clergy appointed for full and three-quarter time positions, earning a minimum of 25% of the denominational average compensation. Number three, the board proposes that the following resolution be adopted for calendar year 2023 related to rental housing allowances for retired, disabled, or former clergy persons of the Western North Carolina Conference. That an amount equal to 100% of the pension or disability payments received from plans authorized under the Book of Discipline during the period January 1, 2023 through December 31, 2023 by each active, retired, terminated, or disabled clergy person who is or was a member of the conference or its predecessors be and hereby is designated as rental housing allowance for each such clergy person. Additional explanatory language regarding this allowance may be found in your full report. Health benefits. The second part of our report relates to health benefits. Our health benefits committee, led by Lori Wilson, works diligently on your behalf to analyze and secure medical coverage for our clergy. We are most grateful for the investigative work performed by the members of this committee and our clergy and their families are beneficiaries of their dedication. We were very pleased that for 2022 premiums, the board, upon recommendation by the Health Benefits Committee, did not increase neither the church's nor pastor's costs for all levels of coverage. The Health Benefits Committee proposes that the Board of Pension and Health Benefits again be authorized to secure a health plan for 2023 that will be advantageous in terms of coverage, premium rates, and administrative costs. Number two, that the hospital medical insurance program be continued for all eligible persons working 30 hours or more per standard work week. Number three, Westpath, through the Comprehensive Protection Plan, provides a death and disability benefit for eligible clergy, along with death benefits for members of clergy families. In addition, the conference offers basic life insurance coverage for active clergy enrolled in the conference group health plan. A new feature of the plan is critical illness and accident coverage. There are numerous remaining elements of design of the plan as outlined in your conference material. The premium cost information will be made available to local churches and pastors immediately after the 2023 plan has been determined and rates established. If you have any questions, please direct them to Reverend Dr. Mark King or Mr. Dale Bryant at the conference office. Thank you for participating in this video, and thank you for your continued support of our churches, our clergy, and the Western North Carolina Conference of the United Methodist Church.